Hello there, mysterious person behind the screen. Now, as this was a Christmas special, I need a Christmas makeover or something, don't I? Yay! Much better. So, before I start talking about this episode in general, can I just say, if you want Nick Frost's name in the title sequence, then make sure it's with the other names as well. And I... Just another quick hint. Yeah, you don't make the music out of sync with the titles. It, that happened a few times during Series 8, and it's just annoying. The do supposed to come a second before Peter Capaldi's name appears. Right, remember that. Because you need to keep it in sync if you want to make a good title sequence. It's important because it's iconic, and it's in every episode, and it's been around for 50 years, so you need to make it important. Okay? Now, I can finally talk about the episode in general. The first scene that we see in the episode is Shona trying to make her way through the infirmary um, by dancing to Slade's Merry Christmas, everyone. And, um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That was interesting. Right, okay. Can I just start off by saying I think Shona be, should become the companion. We already know that the title for the first episode of Series 9 is going to be called The Magician's, Repre uh, the, the Magician's Apprentice. So, that may have some parallels because Shona called the Doctor a magician. So, that I don't think we've seen the last of her. Something tells me that we haven't. And it'd be good because... She's way better than Clara is at the moment. And um, speaking of Clara, God, this was all her episode, wasn't it? Why was the Doctor even in it? I don't know, because it was just complete and utter Clara fest. Oh my God, I even thought we'd gotten rid of the Clara Danny Pink love story at the end of Series 8 when, when he died. But no, 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 that's completely brushed, brushed over in this episode because we see him again in the dream sequence. Oh my god. Uh, okay, okay. Clara had the perfect exit in this episode. She had the perfect opportunity to leave as the old woman, which was probably the highlight of the episode. But no, that was just all hastily rewritten in a really weird thing involving uh, Santa, played by Nick Frost. And then she just goes travelling with the Doctor again. And it's so bad because... That was the perfect opportunity for her to leave because it was a highlight. It was a touching scene. It mirrored the time of the Doctor last year. It was a good scene and then Moffat just messed it up. I'm getting tired of Stephen Moffat's writing style now. If he keeps going on like this, then Doctor Who's just in big trouble. I, what? I can't even get my head around it. This was just complete Stephen Moffat fest. You have a monster who... A monster that uses one of your sensory organs. That style of monster's getting old now, and it's just making me realise how much Stephen Moffat needs to go. He's, he's done everything he can, and... Oh, it's... This episode was just a mess. I'm, it, the more... I liked it at first, but the more I thought about it, the more it went on, and the the more... I, th I thought about it and the days after I watched it, the more I realised how bad it actually was and I, I realised how, how many faults it actually had. And it's just like... He, he's done everything he can and so so is Jenna Coleman. I don't like Clara's character. She's just the most... Okay, in Series 7, she had no development at all. Nothing. You couldn't, you couldn't sum up her character without the words feisty and loyal. In series eight, she got development, but became a completely unlikable character. And it's now got to the point where she's got so many goodbyes now. Like, she left and killed the moon. She had the perfect opportunity to leave this episode. She didn't. And it's making me think, right, well, when she does, when she does eventually leave, well, we won't, con we won't take it seriously at all, at all, unless she dies. But even then, Moffat will probably go, oh, but is she really dead? We don't know. <laughs> you know, he tried to be clever, and that's why it... It's just getting really old now. I Series 9 better be Jenna Coleman and Stephen Moffat's last series. Um, if it isn't, then... 
all all hope is lost because the writing is really getting stale now. Right, time to talk about some good stuff. Nick Frost's Santa Claus was absolutely brilliant. His performance was so funny and hilarious, and um, it is. It, He's like the perfect person to say to play Santa Claus. I know that a lot of people have said that they'd like to see him play it, play him in a Christmas movie, and that'd be pretty cool. You know, he, he it's an interesting take on the character. Um, Faye Marseille is Shona. I, I've already talked about her. She should be the next companion because um, Dan's like better than Clara, and um, she's really funny and it, it works. Peter Capaldi's get, getting better with each episode. You really can't fault his performance now. And it's just like... Um, it's, it's just... He's just amazing now. He, he, he's fully settled into the Doctor. But once again, he still hasn't had a proper chance to shine because it's all about Clara. One thing I utterly, utterly despised was the sleigh ride scene at the end. That felt like it belonged in a Matt Smith episode, not Peter Capaldi. It was cheesy. But... You know, again, it's just Moffat's writing style now. Um, it was just I'm surprised he, he if he doesn't win the the award for most cheesiest piece of television. If that's even a thing, it probably isn't. And uh, I'm gonna make it one because he'll definitely win it. Um, but yeah, I've I've seen a lot of people put putting comments on YouTube saying. I only really watch Doctor Who now because I'm a fan of it, and it's kind of like I'm li liable to. I'm like. Um, I I have to because I'm a fan and it's been around for 50 years and all that but generally the episodes aren't quite good anymore I've seen a lot of people say that and that's just sad because it really shows how much Moffat isn't doing any good many good things for Doctor Who at the moment so this is a bit of a short review there isn't really much to say about it without repeat, repeating myself but I'm going to give Last Christmas a 6 out of 10 it was it was okay but in terms of a christmas special it wasn't very good and like i said stephen moffat his writing style is getting completely stale and boring and jenna coleman is one of the worst companions now and if she doesn't leave at the end of series 9 there is no hope